एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन अपसेट जी सी डी सो द क्वेश्चन स्टेट्स एट गिवन एंड टीचर्स एन एन के एंड द केस आई सबसेट ऑफ वन टू एन विद मैक्सिमम जी सी डी इफ मल्टीपल सच सबसेट्स एग्जिस्ट यू मे प्रिंट एनी सो आर इनपुट फॉर्मेट इज ई द नंबर ऑफ टेस्ट केसेस एंड द आउटपुट वी हैव एन एन के द नंबर ऑफ इन टीचर्स एंड साइड ऑफ सबसेट Output contains k separated integers denoting the subset with maximum GCD. If multiple subset subsets exist, you may print any. And remember, one two three and two one three would be considered identical. So in case of first test case, we see that we have three means n equal to three and our case. so we need to make a subset of size 2 which would have maximum gcd and as n is 3 we can choose from 1 2 3 so we have integers from 1 to n so in case of 1 2 3 all of them pair wise have gcd of 1 so we can take any pair so we can take 1 2 or 2 comma 3 or 1 comma 3 so you can take any pair so here the output is given as 2 comma 3 now if you take 3 3 so there are three elements and you need to take three so no choice take all of them 4 2 so you have four elements which are 1 2 3 4 and you want maximum gcd so if you take 1 3 maximum gcd is 1 with 1 2 also the same 2 3 also the same if you take 2 4 maximum gcd is 2 so hence we take 2 4 as maximum can be 2 now let's consider a case of 4 and 3 so in case of 4 and 3 what is the maximum gcd if you have 1 2 3 4 first we will take the 2 maximum so it will be 2 4 but now you need to take one more element because our k is 3 so in case of k equal to 3 you need to take either one or either three and if you take any of them it doesn't matter it will give you the gcds 1 so our output can be 1 2 4 or 3 2 4 or even now you can take 1 2 3 because that doesn't matter in case so uh, let's think about its approach so the approach can be that once you take k and n we can observe that the maximum gcd what we can get is n by k so integer division of n by k can be done which gives us the maximum gcd to check 3 2 so the maximum gcd is 1 3 divided by 2 in this case also maximum gcd is 1 3 divided by 3 now in this case you divide 4 by 2 which gives us 2 so the maximum gcd is 2 so we got the starting elements of our gcd array now what the next step will be now we want we got one element we want k minus 1 of the elements so till k minus 1 what you can do first store this in a list so initially our list contain let's take example of third one Four two, so initially our list contains only two. 
now what i will do i will do here the number which was before plus my maximum gcd so it comes out to be and as i need only two elements it is done let's take a bigger example if i take 8 3 then if you do 8 divide by 3 it will give you 2 right 2 is the maximum one so you do 2 comma 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 2 is 6 so you get 2 4 6 that's the list with maximum gcd of 2 so the idea is very simple just suppose i have n by k is stored in a so my a equal to n divided by k and b equal to a so my list will be a plus my a will be updated as b plus a and we will be storing all these values in the list so first you can store a in the list as it is and then store the remaining values this will be done for all k minus 1 elements so let's look at the solution so here is the solution we took n comma k and then result is subset gcd n comma let's look at the function so if k is 1 directly return n that's done because the maximum gcd will be that number itself now we take a list we take n divided by k where i was taking a comma b it is s comma b here so instead of s i was taking a so b equal to a and then we do a equal to b plus a and we keep on appending in v and we return b at last so this gives us the solution to the problem i hope you all understand this solution Thanks for watching